Welcome to this video, how to install Windows Subsystem for Linux on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Windows Subsystem for Linux, or WSL, is a feature in Microsoft Windows that lets you run Linux on Windows without having to install a virtual machine. WSL does not provide the same features as a hypervisor, but it is easier to use and has minimal resource consumption. This makes it an excellent tool for developers, system administrators, and anyone looking to use Linux command tools and services within Windows, or to learn the Linux command line interface. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps to install WSL2 on Windows 10, Windows 11, and Windows Server 2022. Additionally, I'll demonstrate how to install and manage Linux distributions using the WSL command. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have all the information you need to start working with Windows Subsystem for Linux. The latest version of WSL, WSL2, requires virtualization to be enabled in the BIOS. The good news is that all modern CPUs support virtualization, but it may be disabled by default. To check if virtualization is enabled on your computer, simply open Task Manager and head over to the Performance tab. There, under the CPU Performance section, you'll find the virtualization status. If it says Enabled, you're good to go with WSL installation. If not, you'll need to access the BIOS settings and enable virtualization. Enabling virtualization is a bit different depending on your CPU and motherboard. If you've got an Intel CPU, you'll want to look for settings called Intel Virtualization Technology or VTD, under the Advanced BIOS settings. If your computer has an AMD CPU, look for settings called SVM Mode. To get detailed instructions specific to your computer, check your motherboard model and search for specific instructions on the manufacturer's website. Also, it's important to be aware that WSL2 runs on a lightweight Hyper-V container. Hyper-V is the native virtualization technology built into Windows, and it can conflict with third-party hypervisors like VirtualBox and VMware Workstation. To prevent issues, avoid running WSL2 on the same computer as VirtualBox or VMware Workstation. Installing WSL2 is straightforward. Simply open a command prompt or PowerShell console with administrator privileges, and run the command WSL install. This command works on Windows 10, Windows 11, and Windows Server 2022, making the installation process identical for these desktop and server versions. By default, WSL2 installs Ubuntu Linux. However, you can install a different distribution using the minus D option. To see a list of all available distributions, run the WSL minus minus list minus minus online command. So here I am at my Windows 10 desktop. To start, I'm going to open a command prompt as administrator and run the command WSL minus minus install. And that will start the installation process. All right, the installation process is finished, but in order to apply the changes, we'll need to reboot the computer. When the computer is rebooted, it will automatically initiate the configuration of the Linux distribution. This process may take a few minutes, and once it is complete, you will be asked to create a user account. Now that we have created a user account, we are automatically logged into the bash shell. Here I will run the lsb release command to check which Linux version was installed. As you can see, the lsb release output shows that I have Ubuntu 22 running on my Windows computer. To exit the bash shell, I can type exit, or simply close the command prompt. To start the bash shell again, I can run the wsl command, or use the start menu shortcut to the Ubuntu distribution. Before finishing this section, I want to show you that inside the Linux distribution, your Windows partitions are mounted in the slash mnt directory. This means that, you can now run Linux commands such as find, grep, and awk against the Windows file system. Also, if you want to access the Linux file system from Windows Explorer, in the address bar, type, backslash backslash, wsl, dollar sign and, press enter. So now that we've covered the installation of WSL2, 
Let's move on to the next section, where we'll learn how to install additional Linux distributions. We can install additional Linux distributions with the WSL command using the minus minus install option. But before that, let's run the WSL minus L minus O command to get a list of the Linux distributions that we can install. So here is a list of the Linux distributions that we can install on Windows subsystem for Linux. For this demonstration, I will install Kali Linux by running the command WSL minus minus install Kali Linux. So the installation is finished, and I will now create a new user named User1. Once I have done that, I will be logged into the newly installed Kali distribution. So that we have learned how to install additional Linux distributions, let's move on to the next section where we will explore the WSL command. In this section, we will explore the WSL command in more detail. We will learn how to use the WSL command to manage, start, stop, and switch between Linux distributions. So to start with, let's list all of the installed distributions by running the command WSL-L-V. The output of the command shows us a list of all of the Linux distributions that are installed on our computer. For each distribution, the output shows us the name of the distribution, the version of WSL that it is running on, and whether or not the distribution is currently running. Note the asterisk before the Ubuntu distribution? That is because Ubuntu is the default distribution. That means if you enter the WSL command without any options, it will start the Ubuntu distribution. To start a different distribution, use the minus D option. For example, to start Kali Linux, run WSL minus D Kali Linux. To change the default distribution, use the WSL minus minus set default option. For example, this command sets Kali Linux as the default Linux distribution on this computer. To stop a running distribution, use the minus T option. For example, this command stops the Ubuntu distribution. The next command option we are going to look at is the minus E. This option allows you to execute a command in a specific Linux distribution without starting a shell. It can be useful for running scripts, or for executing commands with which you don't need to interact. For example, to run the ls command in the Ubuntu distribution without starting a shell, you would use the following command. The next command option I want to introduce is minus minus shutdown. When you run the command wsl minus minus shutdown, it immediately stops all running distributions, and the lightweight utility virtual machine that wsl2 is running on. Okay, the last command option we're covering in this section is minus minus unregister. You use this command option to remove a Linux distribution from your computer. For example, to uninstall the Ubuntu distribution, you would run the following command. And that brings us to the end of this video on how to install WSL on Windows. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos on Linux, WSL2, and other tech topics.